There'll be 60,000 charging points all across Singapore by the year 2030. And by the year 2025, all HDB car parks here in Jurong West will be equipped with EV charging points. Good enough reason for getting residents from Jurong West on a CNA Green Plan Challenge. How long does it take to fully charge an EV on a slow charger? Is it safe to charge an electric vehicle when it is raining? Visitors to an EV roadshow we set up discovered answers to those questions and more. I think it has been tested when it was raining before and nothing has happened, so I think it's safe to charge it while it's raining. For many, this was the start of a journey to understand more about EVs and their infrastructure. It just so happens that Jurong West will be one of the first towns in Singapore to be EV ready. I didn't really have a lot of an understanding about what the EV car was all about and I was able to get more information from today's session. It helps to develop the story and the narrative of what the EV ecosystem actually looks like. To give them confidence to say that eventually that's the number of, of EVs, charging stations and ecosystem that we have. So I think the envision is clear and we have to get on to this energy transition. Next, we wanted to see if residents were adaptable enough. We asked some of them to try driving and living with an EV for a little over a week. You have to plan in advance. I learned of an app, Locations in Singapore, that we can find the EV charger. So, would you like to come along? Okay, cool. Let's go charge this car. Soon, Singapore's roads and streets will look and sound very different as the move to adopt EVs picks up speed. You too can take steps to create an energy reset. Visit cnagreenplan.com Organised by Mediacorp in support of SG Green Plan.